guys welcome back to my reaction channel today we're going to be reacting to one piece or goat piece episode 249 the guys the last episode we got a great backstory around tom iceberg and frankie how they all became a family the old lady was there too the old drunk right that we see today so it's interesting that tom was a fishman makes sense by my man prolonged his life or rather saved his life by creating the water train for water 7 and, and and saving their economy and all that so he was a great man and now he passed down that to iceberg and now to frankie right but it's interesting that he had the blueprint for this uh, ancient weapon and even the government is afraid of this ancient weapon which begs the question who created this ancient weapon in the first place where does it come from it, it, it's definitely from before this great pirate era so who the who the hell passed it down to 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 Tom, right? The blueprint and all that. So I have a lot of questions. They raised a lot of questions. CP9 raised a lot of questions, and we still don't have an answer to CP9 and 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 all all of them, right? Because they just kicked our ass, bro. Sent Luffy flying to the moon, Zoro as well, like everybody. Chopper's dead, but the whole building collapsed on him. Like now he was beat up. So man, we're all over the place. But I'm here for it. That being said. Joma reactions, you know what to do. Let's go, man. Yeah, this guy, Luchi, he whooped us. Pierced Luffy through and through. Insane. He really did. He really did that shit. And then the building collapsed on Chopper and Nami. I mean, Chopper saved Nami and Nami got beat up. And the shipwrights got... Oh, he got out? Did he get out, bro? Did he flip him so hard? It was like tossing a little pebble that he made little skippy these skip steps over the water and yanked himself out. That's crazy, bro. That guy Luchi yeeted this boy. He yeeted him. This is really bad. But he's not strong enough. CP9 unit is just too OP, and Robin did us dirty, bro. She just left us to die. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Frankie wasn't enough. He was powerful, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's so important to him. Well, he was a child back then, so this is him trying to preserve that memory in his child's childlike self. I respect it. My man sealed off that room so nobody can actually go in and out whenever they wanted to, but they broke through. And now they're gonna try and find the blueprint. I'm guessing Frankie is not keeping it there, or maybe he is, I don't know. But, uh, like, Frankie might be stronger than our whole crew because he's a modified human cyborg but he's still not strong enough to defeat cp9 bro so we're screwed i don't know like i i, I they're gonna bro they're gonna trample on all his memories yeah, who's form of a psychological torture while Wait, she happened? restrains him and makes him look right? Yeah, Nusup can help. What happened eight years ago? Damn. <laughs> huh. Ooh, that kind of hit the nerve. Damn, something happened to Tom. I think Frankie might have done something stupid and in order to save him, Tom took the blame and they probably executed him or some shit and that's what Frankie's living with and that's why he's getting so pissed while this guy talks down on Tom's memory. <laughs> Oh. Interesting. 
Yeah, you guys explained, you know, the subtitles, my subtitles weren't as clear, but you guys explained in the comments that uh, his uh, freedom was predicated on him keeping his promise and actually building the ship. I made a lot of jokes in the last episode, like, oh, you're going to build us a ship and then you're going to die, right? But still, he's not off the hook. It's like a probationary period, right? And the judge is coming in three days to see whether he kept the he's promise, whether the all. ship is functional, and whether he should right, free the man or continue with the sentencing. Huh. Or execution. You guys told me that Don part isn't the actual translation. They're different. <laughs> Yeah, he grew up. Okay, so are those guys from the government? Are they like CP5? And is that old man the same old man that visited Iceberg in the future to try and get the blueprint for Pluton, but he kept denying him and then CP9 was, right, dispatched here? Did I connect that right or was that man, Frankie, just blew up somebody completely different? Either way, let's find out. <laughs> いい加減にしろよ。お前にできねえだろ。京都行きは俺が全部処分してやる。やるな。俺の大事な戦艦だぞ。そんな勝手なことさせるか。またバカ切って。ちょっとお待ちくださいよ。まずはちゃんと謝
They're definitely gonna do something with the train. Bro, I thought, I thought Tom entrusted it to the iceberg because he was more calm and collected and responsible, right? But no, he entrusted it to both of them. So Frankie knew about it from the start. That's very interesting. So Tom really trusted both of them equally. It's just that Iceberg took on the responsibility because, again, he was more responsible. <laughs> That's crazy. What is happening? How is Robin connected to all of this, bro? How is Robin... She's starting to piss me off. Her backstory, they're, like, hiding it so well that I can't even begin to speculate. What the hell? あ、なんと。手番くらい入ってきな。まったく。一度で懲りないのかい。町へ海パンで出たらまた変態騒動になっちまうだろ。うるせえな、買い出し Oh, he has. Ooh. Okay, so even if that guy somehow malfunctions the train, they're gonna need time to fix it because they now know that it's functional and very useful. So this is good, right? So he wants to quit him. That's messed up. So that guy from the government was smart enough to actually use Frankie's battleships that Iceberg warned him not to create. He wanted to destroy them because this can happen. And that guy called upon more men so they can operate more ships. And it's the Frankie pirates that are attacking the court. Which is a dope concept, by the way. The moving court on a ship. I like it. But regardless... And now this is the crime that Frankie committed, and then Tom's gonna take responsibility to save Frankie. And that's why he's gonna get executed. This is insane. This isn't even about the train. I thought they were gonna attack the train. Yeah. Yep. See, and this is interesting because Frankie created those ships. So even if they prove that he was not the one operating them, he's gonna go down, he's gonna get the same scent and rob. And the pirate king Roger used it for whatever he used it, right? So you can't win. Like, even if he proves he's not the one that attacked, you still created dangerous ships with dangerous weapons. So they're going to pin this on him regardless. This is crazy, man. This is man. Even if you catch them, they're gonna dive. They're divers. Now, this was perfectly executed. Yo, this is messed up, man. I'm not gonna lie. Mm, he got wounded. Both of them. Damn. 
なことになってもお前に罪がねえと言えるのか<笑> yeah, that's kind of messed up from iceberg. もしこのままトムさんがあいつらに連れて行かれるようなことになったら I think that's it. Yeah, this is the. The end credit. Bruh, that's a lot to put on a person. Iceberg went overboard, but I get it. He was younger back then, and the whole situation was desperate. And Tom is probably gonna pay for it. Yeah, this backstory is dark as hell, bruh. This is dark as hell. I did not see this one coming. But it is what it is. Frankie messed up. He, he's gonna own up to it, I guess. And. Damn. I'm not gonna lie. Damn. Right? What a backstory. And those government officials, bro, they just proved that this is in real world too, bro. If you get in their way, they can do whatever they want to you. There's no stopping them, bro. I'm sorry. So, yeah, that's that's really... Hmm. Tom was him, bro. Tom was him. Having that blueprint, something not even the higher-ups of the government had. He was him. But when you're him, you get in their way. So, like he said, in the name of justice. Bro, they literally bomb people in the name of justice. Shut the hell up. There's no justice in killing, so yeah, that's that's insane. Regardless, uh, a hard episode to watch, not gonna lie. And they orchestrated this perfectly, so yeah, I'm guessing Tom's gonna take all the blame to save Frankie, and then they're gonna execute him. And that, like, I'm surprised Iceberg even talks to Frankie after all of this, but yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot to put on Frankie. Mm, Frankie must have been devastated. But it, it was surprising to me to see the, the like higher ups of the government, the, the five elders, like they didn't even know about this blueprint or have any like knowledge of, of its whereabouts. And that guy, the way he was talking to them, that, that was crazy. That was actually crazy. <laughs> But that being said, I ain't gonna on this that much. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Love you. Enjoy. And bye.